Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Giggity, real name is Mark, and in today's video, we are going to be going over the top 10 most realistic looking cars in Grand Theft Auto Online. Now, what does that mean? Well, obviously, over the years, when GTA 5 first, la first launched, it was 2013, and back then, they were not making cars look, honestly, pretty much anything like the real-life versions. If I, had to, if I had to guess, I would say the most realistic looking car in the base GTA 5 was probably like the original like the coquette it was supposed to be based off of a c7 vet and that was probably the one that looked the most similar but every other car looked in incredibly different nowadays though as they're getting more and more popular and they're starting to realize their boundaries more and more they're starting to make cars look almost exactly like the cars in real life like once we get to the bottom of this list you'll see also i just want to make it really clear that there are a lot of cars that are gm based on this list if you know what that means it's like chevy pretty much gmc stuff like that because I believe that GM is like the least strict about it being in GTA. And I think that's the reason why they do that because a lot of the GM cars are on this list, cars that are based off of Chevys in real life. And I think that's the reason why. But without further ado, let's get right into it with number 10. And that honor goes to the Entity MT. The Entity MT is based off of Koenigsegg Yesco. Now you can make it look like the Absolute if you want to, but I don't think it's supposed to be based off of the Absolute. So. I'm not basing it off the absolute in my video. I'm going to base it off the regular Yesco with the little spoiler on the back and everything. And this thing just looks almost exactly like the actual Yesco. I really can't think of anything on the Yesco that isn't on the Entity MT. They've always been really good with that. The Entity XF is meant to look like a CCX and it does, uh, or the CCAS, I think is what it's called. But it, either way, it does look like that. The, um, the Regera in this game, I forget what it's called. It's the Entity XXF, XF. F or something like that. I can't remember exactly what it's called, but it's supposed to be based off of the Regera. It looks exactly like it. The Entity MT is supposed to be based off of the Yesco, and it looks exactly like it. The only thing I can say is maybe the headlights, like maybe the headlights look very, like, like could use some work. But besides that, it's it's almost exactly the same. Ninth place is going to, we're, 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 sw we're shifting dra drastically here. We're going from a freaking hyper car to like just a regular uh, entry level sports car. The Jester RR, which is a Mark V Supra or A90 Supra, whatever you want to call it. It is the new Supra though, the BMW Supra. Uh, these things in real life are beautiful cars. I actually just saw one today because I went, guess what guys, guess what I did today? I went and bought a dirt bike. I want, in case you guys don't, in case you guys know dirt bikes, this is what I got. Okay, let me know if you guys think it was a good idea. 2015 Yamaha YZ250F for 3,300 bucks. I'm super happy. It was awesome. But on my way there, I saw a Mark V Supra and uh, the Jester RR looks very similar to it. Now, this one definitely does have a very, very, very noticeable difference from the real life version. And that is the front end. The front end on the Jester RR looks a whole lot different from the front end on a real life Mark V Supra. The headlights look more aggressive. It looks more like, more like pointy and more like triangled off right but besides that it's almost exactly the same car eighth place like i said a lot of these cars are new cars in this game like these are cars that have been added recently because they are getting more and more um, um ballsy with their with their designs but so number eight is the panther this car sucks okay i don't i don't I don't even own this car in real GTA Online. I, I don't like the Alpine A110, which is what it's based off of in the game. I don't like this car. I've never liked I've never liked this design or whatever. And so I don't own this car in the game, but I can't sit here and lie. It looks almost exactly like the real life Alpine A110. I also, I know somebody's going to be like, it's pronounced Alpine. Uh, if you don't pronounce it Alpine, you're not pronouncing it correctly. I'm an American, okay? It's just something, there's something called accents. So yeah, maybe the French call it Alpine, but here in America, we call it Alpine. Okay, and this is the Alpine A110 partner. Also, the Pant there, yeah, it looks exactly like the Alpine A110. It's it, they're very similar cars. Headlights same, taillights same, body lines same. It, it looks exactly like it. Seventh place is going to a bit of a weird one because I actually have seen these cars almost throughout my entire life on a daily basis. It is the Ruiner ZZ8, and the reason why I say that is because it's based off of the fourth generation Pontiac Firebirds, and it, uh, my father has owned at least one fourth generation Pontiac Firebird for almost all my life. So I've seen these things for, for, for forever, right? I know exactly what these things look like. And so, yeah, there are a lot of things that I can look at on the Ruiner ZZ8 and pick it, pick it apart, like piece by piece. First thing is the obvious one, the honeycomb taillights. This car does not have honeycomb taillights in the game. And that makes me sad because the honeycomb taillights on the freaking fourth gen Firebird are so iconic. But everything else about it looks so very, very similar. I think if they just made it a little bit wider, because it looks very skinny, it's like a little bean rolling down the road. But I think if they made it a little bit wider, it would and made the honeycomb taillights on the car, it would be almost indistinguishable from a real life freaking fourth gen Firebird. Like these things look that similar. Sixth place is going to a very new car, and a very new car that I'm actually really excited they added into the game. And never in a million years 
would have guessed that they would have added this into the game. Uh oh. Oh my god. I had a big hair in my mouth. But it is the FR36. The FR36 is based off of the G35 coupe. Okay, I am a JDM boy. Okay, I like the JDM stuff. I do. I'm an, I'm an enjoyer of the JDM. And especially when you start to talk about VQs. I owned a 350Z, okay? I loved that thing. It was probably my favorite car I've ever owned. Definitely my favorite car I've ever owned. But the FR36 is a G35 Coupe. It's pretty much the exact same thing. So I look at G35 Coupes all the time because I want one. They're awesome cars. I freaking love them. It, this thing looks identical. The taillights could use some work, but everything else about them looks incredibly similar. Also, all the modifications are modifications that people do to their G35 coupes in real life all the time too. So even if you do modify it, it'll look just like some other modified G35 coupe in, in real life. It's freaking great. I love it. Fifth place is going to a weird one, a car that I genuinely just don't like in this game, one that I don't I don't own and I probably will never own. The Issy Rally. The Issy Rally, I think, is actually the fastest SUV in the game right now because I think it has an HSW upgrade and not a lot of SUVs do. And so since it does, it's automatically like faster than them. But either way, it's based off of a Mini Countryman. The Mini Countryman <laughs> is not a cool car. I have never really liked the Mini Countryman. Uh, I don't really get why GTA added a Mini Countryman into the game before other cars like uh like a like a 350z without the wide body kit or like a uh fifth gen prelude or a ek civic so i don't really get why they added the uh countryman in but it does look very similar to the real life version like even though i don't personally like it it's kind of like the panther where like yeah i don't like the car but it, they did really really well with the design on this car it looks very similar if you like the mini countryman you'll probably love the sc rally they're very similar looking cars Fourth place, however, is going to a car that I do love. One of my favorite cars in GTA, period. It is the Cypher. The Cypher is based off of a BMW M2 F87 or first generation of the M2 because now we have that second gen, which I, let me, let me, let me know in the comments, ladies and gentlemen. Do you guys like the second gen M2s? I actually kind of do. I think they're growing on me. They definitely have. At first, I thought they were like a Minecraft car and I thought Steve would be driving that bad boy and I would be like driving down the road and I'd see Herobrine in my passenger seat and nobody would believe me. But now that I'm starting to like, they've been out for a while, I'm starting to, I'm starting to like it. G 87 m2 is not that bad looking not that bad looking only in they're in when in black though because then it kind of hides all the stupid like weird vents either way though the cypher uh, it's based off of the m2 f87 and looks very similar front end looks almost like exactly the same like there's literally nothing you can really tell apart from the real life m2 and the cypher uh the, the, in terms of the front the back is where it does get start to get a little bit questionable um it's kind of like in real life the uh, m2 f87 it it doesn't the wide body doesn't mold into like the rear bumper it's kind of just on the rear fenders or the rear quarter panels i should say um but in the game it kind of like molds into the rear bumper which is a little weird but besides that it looks exactly like third place however is going to the coquette coquette whatever you want to call it d10 the coquette d10 is obviously based off of a c8 corvette and i actually challenge you guys to find one thing on the coquette d10 that looks different from the real life c8 vet one thing they look I, I in, insanely alike like the fact that they managed to get away with putting this car into the game without getting sued by gm is is miraculous to me like this thing looks exact obviously yeah it's not going to be like as clean and like as shiny and like as nice looking as a c8 corvette because it's a freaking 11 year old video game at this point so the graphics aren't aren't going to be as good as like real life but all the body lines are the same the tail lights the headlights all the stuff that you care about is almost exactly the freaking same man it's it's genuinely so hard to find something that looks different from the c8 corvette on the coquette d10 it it looks like a mod like this car looks like it wouldn't eat like rockstar did not release it it's impressive Second place, let's go back to the JDM. Boy, I can't, I, I gotta scratch the itch of JDM. We haven't talked about one since the FR36. So second place is going to the Kanjo SJ. The Kanjo SJ is supposed to be based off of a, a Civic. It's a fifth gen Civic, so it's the EG Civic, but I know it's not actually called the EG because the EGs are only the hatches. I think it's like the EJ, I believe. I don't know exactly what it's called, but either way, it's a fifth gen Civic Coupe, okay? That's what it's based off of. And beside, the only thing is the taillights. I will say the taillights could use some work. They don't look exactly like the taillights on a fifth gen Civic Coupe. They're a little bit smaller in GTA than they are in real life. But honestly, that's really hard to even notice. Like you'll be driving this thing around for hours before you even recognize that that's, that, 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 that could be used some work. Besides that, it, it genuinely just couldn't, it, 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 they really couldn't get that much closer. It, they really couldn't. It looks exactly like it. It, it just does. It just does. look up a fifth gen Civic Coupe and then look at the Kanjo SJ and tell me I'm wrong.
honorable mention time. That's right, partner. That's right, partner. I cannot make a video without doing an honorable mention. I love honorable mentions. They're a lot of fun. It's a Vizero ZX. Uh, again, I mentioned in the beginning of the video that there's going to be a lot of GM-based cars in this game, in this list, I mean, uh, and that's the case. This is based off of a sixth generation Chevy Camaro, and again, there's just... The reason why I put this as an honorable mention isn't because I don't think it looks more realistic than some of the other cars. It's because it, I, I, it's kind of the same thing as a Coquette D10, right? I, I kind of really can't say anything else about it that I didn't already say when talking about the Coquette, so I'm just going to leave it here. But first place is, in my opinion, the most slept on car of all time like people do not talk about this thing at all it is the impaler sz the impaler sz is based off of a 90s chevy impala and this is another one of those cars kind of like the ruiner zz8 where i kind of grew up with them uh because my uncle always had one he's always loved these cars and let me tell you it is incredible how similar this car is to the real life version it is insanely incredible they even did this thing where the rear tire the rear wheels aren't lined up with, with the uh, quarter panels perfectly just like in real life look it up the the uh real life uh freaking 90s impalas had that little little weird thing about them and that's exactly how it looks in the game too everything about this car looks exactly like the real life version of it it's unbelievable how they got away with this there must be some sort of like deal between rockstar games and, and and gm where they can make their cars look very similar or something because there's no way they're getting away with like the impaler sd the Vigero zx the coquette d10 and the ruiner zz8 like all those cars look exactly like their real life versions and i'm sure there's more that i'm missing that are made by gm2 that look just like their real life versions too the granger the granger is supposed to be a suburban and it looks exactly like a suburban like i'm telling you these cars look insanely similar to their real life versions it's weird something's going on but ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of today's video of the top 10 most realistic looking cars in Grand Theft Auto Online. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. Let me know what other videos you'd like to see in the comment section down below. Next video is going to most likely be the ranking all video for the Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2 because we just did Porsche Unleashed and then today's the top 10. And then next will be Hot Pursuit 2 and then, and then another top 10. That's kind of how it works. You know, top 10, ranking all. Top 10, ranking all. It's how it works it's always gonna be how it works but either way i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please sure to like comment and subscribe to the channel for more content just like these i like need a drink i've been filming for in almost exactly an hour now just non-stop talking to my camera and so my mouth is dry i feel like i got cotton mouth over here so i'm gonna take a sip of my brisk iced tea with lemon flavoring in it i bet you're jealous partner uh and uh then start editing some videos so hope you guys enjoyed das and have a nice night